hello guys how are you all in today's tutorial we will see what is d square by 162 and d square by 533 in steel reinforcement also we will see the derivation for the above expression before that please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get the new video updates and comment below for any doubts you have about the video or you want me to make a video about any topic of your choice so let's get started d square by 162 and d square by 533 are the formulas for calculating the unit weight of a steel for the given length of bar in meters and feet respectively. The various diameters for the steel bar used in construction are 6 mm, 8 mm, 10 mm, 12 mm, 16 mm, 20 mm, 25 mm and 32 mm. We know the formula d square by 162 which is used to calculate the weight of reinforcement per unit length. But do we know how did we get this formula? So let us get started. Let us use few examples so as to see how to use these formulas to calculate weight of steel bar. The first example is to calculate the weight of steel bar having a diameter 20 mm and length 7 meters. The solution to this is as follows. Weight of steel bar per unit length is equal to d square by 162 where the length is in meters. Substituting the value of d in the above equation we get 20 square by 162 which is equal to 2.469 kg per meter. Now for 7 meters length, the weight of steel bar for 7 meter long bar is equal to 2.469 multiplied by 7 which is equal to 17.284 kg. Similarly, we can calculate the weight of steel bar having a diameter 20 mm and length 7 feet. Weight of steel bar per unit length is equal to d square by 533 where the length is in feet. Substituting the value of d in the above equation, we get 20 square by 533 which is equal to 0.75 kg. Now for 7 feet length, weight of steel bar for 7 feet long bar is equal to 0.75 multiplied by 7 which is equal to 5.253 kg. Now let us see the derivation for d square by 162 when the length of the bar is given in meters. We know that the weight of steel bar in kilogram is equal to volume of steel bar multiplied by unit weight of steel bar. We can clearly see that there are two components for the above expression. The first is volume of steel bar and the second is unit weight of the steel bar. Now we will see both the components individually for better understanding. The volume of steel bar is equal to cross sectional area of the steel multiplied by the length which is equal to area of circle multiplied by the length. Now area of circle is pi by 4 d square where d is the diameter of the bar in mm and l is the unit length of steel bar in mm. Now the unit weight of steel bar is 7850 kilogram per meter cube. I am specifying meter cube. The diameter of the bar is in mm. The unit of length is given in meter. Hence we need to convert the unit from meter to mm. Hence the conversion would be 7850 divided by 1000 multiplied by 1000 multiplied by 1000 kilogram per mm cube. Now substituting these values in the above equation that is weight of steel bar is equal to volume of steel bar multiplied by unit weight of steel bar. We have got the volume of steel bar as pi by 4 d square into L into unit weight of steel bar which is equal to 3.14 that is the value of pi multiplied by d square multiplied by 1000 which is the value of L multiplied by 7850 divided by 4 into 1000 into 1000 into 1000. Solving the above equation, we get 0.006162 d square kilogram per meter. Now let's bring 0.006162 in the denominator. Solving this, we get d square by 162.2784 kilogram per meter, which is approximately equal to d square by 162 kilogram per meter. Now let's see how we can calculate the weight of steel bar when the length of bar is in feet. Initially, we have got d square by 162 when the length was given in meters. As we know, 1 meter is equal to 3.2808 feet. Simply replacing the value of meter by feet in the above set equation, we get d square divided by 162 into 3.2808, which becomes d square by 532.40. This value is approximately equal to d square by 533. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon to get the new video updates.